when we're young, we're told about our limitless potential. The adults would tell us that we can become whatever we want. A doctor, a lawyer, astronaut, an athlete. All we would have to do is put our mind to it. They also said that if we just be ourselves, we will find that perfect person to love us. Today is the day. The day for what? I hear you ask. The day that something happens. As my remaining time on this earth slowly diminishes, so too does my apparent potential. I'm 23. I live alone. My office job defines the word tedious. Despite the past reassurance of my parents and teachers, I still don't have the amazing life that they promised me. There's no flashy career. There's certainly no amazing girl to love me. My life has become a mundane cycle of spending time at work so that I can pay society's survival debt. You know, food, water, rent. I then repeat the process over and over. I wish my life had value. I wish there were moments worth reflecting on. But I simply haven't seen the opportunity to bring these moments to life. So when I say, today is the day, I refer to the day in which an opportunity appears. The day that I finally see a dangling lifeline, ready to pull me out of this worthless existence. Good morning, Josh. Hey, hey, what's been happening? Is it casual Friday? Yeah, laundry day. Okay. Hey guys, the weirdest thing happened to me this morning. I just, you know, hopped out of my out of my house and this was on my doorstep. What do you guys put it there? I didn't. Me either. Audacity is a virtue. Don't you have enough of those? <sighs> Do I send some sarcasm? Come on, Josh, give yourself some credit. You give me enough of that. So anyway, do any of you guys know how that thing found its way to my doorstep? Like, what are your theories? I don't know. Maybe your neighbour? At the full moon, he turns into a libertine hippie? And he just makes unconventional artworks and puts Look, them all over the city. I really want to know. Maybe it was completely random. Some guy might write inspirational quotes and just give them out to strangers. He might not even know the person. I doubt it. Well, I have to go talk to a client. Let me know if you solve the mystery. Okay. Why don't you just ask her out? Well, I do like her, but I didn't make her move back when I should have, and you know, it would just be a bit weird. She's just used to having me as a friend. Who cares? Just do it. It would be weird. What, is it all too? Audacious for you. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. I'll just go to work. See ya. See you, man. The internet normally has the answer to everything. What? Photoshop? Those are my own words.
Hey, Cindy. Yeah, it's Josh. Are you free tomorrow? Meet me at the Strand Park at 11 a.m. Yeah, okay. I'll see you there. Hey, how are you? Exhilarated. What's that? We're gonna find out later. Let's see if we're on the beach. Uh, maybe later. Can we go get some coffee and sit down? Okay. There's actually a reason why I brought you here today. Really? Yeah, I wanted to give you something. What's that? This. Oh, uh, really? Us? That's my plan. Look, Josh, I think we should just stay friends. I mean, we have a really good station. Yeah. That's right. Well, I'll see you on Monday. Welcome to the inside of my head. Let's reflect. Yep, I got rejected. But I realised something. Failure isn't so bad. Rather than feeling disappointment and self-inflicted anger, I felt a sense of pride. I demonstrated courage. I demonstrated audacity. I gave myself the opportunity to enrich my life. If I do this enough, I will encounter some successes. I mean, obviously I'll encounter some failures too, but even the failed attempts have value. With every audacious attempted success, irrespective of the result, my life becomes more interesting. A thousand adventures which end with no reward are still better than not having any adventures at all. Thank you.